Hello everyone. So now I'm going to discuss 2.3 absolute value. Based on statement 34, are the properties of absolute value. Number one, the modulus of A greater than zero. The modulus of A is equal to zero if and only if the A is equal to zero. Number two, the modulus of negative A is also equal to modulus of A. Number three, modulus of A plus B is equal to modulus of B plus A. As well, A modulus of A minus B is equal to modulus of B minus A. Number four, modulus of A multiplied with B is equal to modulus A multiplied with modulus B. Number five, modulus of A over B is equal to modulus of A divided by modulus of B, where B cannot be equal to zero. Based on statement 35, there is an important note. The square root of x square actually is equal to modulus of x. For example, we have square root of 3 squared, which is equal to 3, or we can say equals to modulus of 3. Next, the square root of negative 3 squared is equal to negative 3 and also equals to negative 3 modulus. Here are the example 22. Write each expression without using the absolute value symbol. Simplify the result when possible. Now look at A. We have modulus of 0 which is equals to 0. B negative modulus of negative 6 and we will have our answer negative 6. C modulus of 2 minus square root of 2. We will have 2 minus square root of 2. D modulus of pi minus 3 and we will have our answer pi minus 3. E modulus of 3 minus pi and our answer will be pi minus 3. For f, we have modulus of 12 plus modulus of negative 4. So we will have 12 plus 4 and finally we have our answer 16. So here we are and thanks for watching.